Meet the Ford F-150 Raptor painted in stunning molten orange. With a 6.2 liter engine, 411 horsepower, and an MSRP of just under $50,000, it's a street legal race truck that you can buy today. You know what? Flying down a desert race course, which is what I'm on right now, this Raptor is just sublime. The suspension soaks up the bumps, the rear tires just bite, the back end comes around when you need to come around. It's just probably more fun than you can have legally, but let's face it, it's one thing to take the Raptor off-road, it's a whole nother thing to live with this thing on a daily basis. The Raptor is seven inches wider than a regular pickup truck, making it about the same size as a military Humvee. So, with that in mind, here are 10 things you don't want to do in a Raptor. I just sprayed this entire can of Fix-A-Flat into the Raptor's prodigiously large rear tire because I just pulled out this rather massive screw out of the tire. Luckily, there was about 40 PSI left in the tire. So when I sprayed the uh, inflator and sealer into the tire, it actually sealed the hole and kept me going. But one of the things I would hate to do, I mean I would really hate to do, is change a tire on this big heavy beast. Height-wise, well, this beast does fit in the garage, and lengthwise, I think I can get the garage to close, but just barely. I can promise you my wife would never allow me to park this beast in the garage because she could not get her car next to it. So if you've got a happy marriage, that's probably another thing you don't want to do with the Raptor, park it in the garage. So I just dropped the garage door on the back of the Raptor because when I was pulling out, I actually caught the little rope that holds the garage, the garage door opener and the door. And as I started pulling out, it let go of the garage door and the garage door dropped on the Raptor. So yeah, you certainly don't want to park this bad boy in the garage. Good job! Another thing you don't want to do in a Raptor is take a six-year-old for a ride. <laughs> One thing I love about all pickup trucks, and especially the Raptor, is the amount of elbow room. I mean, there's just a great amount of room if you're a big guy like me. But, let's see if a big guy like me, and that's 6'2", and, you know, over 200 pounds, fits in the back seat. All right, it's not bad, but as you can tell, another thing you don't want to do in a Raptor is sit in the back seat, especially if you're six foot two or taller. I say, wait for the crew cab to come out. Okay, well, parking it at Whole Foods is not something you want to do in a Raptor. I got very lucky this time. The driver in front of me pulled out so I could just pull through this parking space because I doubt very, very much that I can actually back this bad boy out of here. That brings us to number five. But you know what? Let me give you one reason that makes me forget those last five things. to get a Raptor.
can tell, I give it my best shot. Another thing you definitely don't want to do with the Raptor is take it to an automatic car wash. If you plan on owning a Raptor, I suggest you get a lot of quarters because this or washing it at home are the only two ways that this bad boy is going to get clean. The Raptor is so wide that the government made Ford put on these semi-trailer tractor lights right here just so you can mark the width of this bad boy. I'm impressed. Here I am carving canyons in a raptor, which is by far not the home environment for this beast. The raptor is designed to go desert racing over big bumps, soft landings, but you know what? Another thing you don't want to do with the raptor is drive it slow. Because driving it fast is a lot of fun. Approaching some road construction right now, and in an ideal world, get enough road and a big enough ramp, this Raptor, I have no doubt, could jump that road construction, but when the road gets tight, you don't want to drive a Raptor through road construction. Fill it up with gas, and since this is a Raptor, I'm getting about 13.2 miles to every dinosaur. This is where I normally take my cars when I take them off-road. Now don't get me wrong, the Raptor can certainly go off-road, but it's not meant for rock climbing. Ford Raptor is meant as a desert truck. You want to go fast, from point A to point B, this is the truck to do it in. If you want to go rock crawling, I suggest you get a Dodge Power Wagon. So yeah, the Raptor, it's not a practical truck. But you know what? The less practical something is, the more fun it is. So on the TFL scale of buy it, lease it, rent it, or forget it, even after all I've done with this truck, I still give it a big buy it because there's nothing more fun than flying down the road, be it tarmac or be it dirt, in a Ford Raptor. Roman Micah, reporting for TFLcar.com. Mm -hmm.